Hello chums, we're still here in Comedy Cottage, hope you're fighting fit. Uh, a few things today, uh, first up, tomorrow's choice for Talking Pictures TV is a real comedy masterpiece. It's that legend, Norman Wisdom in On The Beat, 1962 glorious supporting cast. And for me, probably uh, the definitive example of Norman Wisdom being in the same league as those slapstick legends like Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton. He had a great director in Robert Asher on that film. Uh, and uh, some of the sequences, there's a particularly uh, amazing uh, policeman steeplechase uh, headed by David Lodge chasing after little Norman, uh, which is just a masterpiece. So enjoy that tomorrow, 10.40 on Talking Pictures TV. It's also, um, for fact fans out there, um, in the age of VHS, uh, when I worked for ITV on the, uh, on the DVD version of those Norman Wisdom films, it was the Norman Wisdom film that sold the most copies on VHS over half as much again as the previous uh, bestseller. Uh, and it was one of the ones that myself and Norman Wisdom sat down to select to do the audio commentary on. So it was a, a fun experience to sit at uh, the recording studio in Pinewood Studios with Norman Wisdom watching those films that with him. It was uh, an absolute honor. So tomorrow, talking pictures. Now, Friday night is horror night. Um, and uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber tonight is uh, premiering, I think the 25th anniversary of uh, The Phantom of the Opera, which I've never seen before on stage. I've obviously seen the old uh, films, the Lon Chaney and Claude Rains and Herbert Long, and I've also seen the musical version, but I've never seen it in the stage, on the stage rather. So I'm gonna sit down and watch that tonight, followed um, by this little treat from my dear friend Alan Coles. Um, this is The Hammer House of Horror, the 1980 ITV series. Now I worked on the, uh, the DVD version of this, doing the sleeve notes uh, back in the day. Al tells me the copies on these, these pristine uh, prints, are unbelievably good. So I, I can't wait to tuck into this tonight. And Al's told me I've got to watch them in order, as if I wouldn't. It's witching time, isn't it, with John Finch and uh, Patricia Quinn, Lady Stevens that was to be. So I can't wait to tuck into that. Um, extra heads up for tomorrow. I'll mention it tomorrow morning again. Um, but uh, it's a Larry Stevens, it's all in the mind virtual book launch tomorrow so I head over to that it's going on from 10 o'clock in the morning till half past five in the evening so jump into that with your beer and uh, salute a really great comedy book and finally today um, I mentioned that I do these daily comedies um, I try and do them different on both Instagram and Facebook um, an anniversary or a birth or a death or whatever of some comedian or comedy show. Uh, yesterday uh, was Spike Milligan, would have been 102 yesterday, um, and I did a little um, uh, love poem. It went down a treat apparently, so I've been asked to do another one. So I've picked another uh, funny poem. This is from a, a book called, uh, a collection of poetry called A Dustbin of Milligan, and this was a quite a rare edition now. This was printed by uh, Trust Books, and some of the money went to Oxfam. But I'm gonna read a little poem here, uh, which is called Porridge. Why is there no monument to porridge in our land? If it's good enough to eat, it's good enough to stand. On a plinth in London, a statue we should see of porridge made in Scotland, signed Oatmeal, OBE. Until tomorrow, all the best. <laughs>